this leads me into uh, how to set up remote offices in a hurry. So again, this is this could be a two-hour uh, webinar by itself or workshop by itself. I am just trying to do very high-level, you know, uh, suggestions on what are some best practices. We are a completely remote company. Obviously, we have a lot of experience in this. We've been doing it for a long time. Um, so I'm just going to get into some best practices that you could actually within you know, 24 hours be completely set up to do your remote work. So uh, working remotely becomes second nature for to those that do it all the time. Um, Kenworks Pro, again, has been a distributed workforce or has a distributed workforce with employees across the U.S. and overseas. There are a number of tools available that make this an easy transition, and I'm just going to highlight some of them. Uh, so the first thing is I suggest you set up a virtual private network uh, for security. So this will protect you and you can protect multiple devices. So if you're at your home office, if you're using a, an iPad or whatever type of uh, tool you're starting to use, if you're working more out of the office, you can protect yourself. So a VPN is what they're called. It helps you stay secure and anonymous anytime you go online. So we use or we suggest ExpressVPN. Um, it's a very stable, very uh, good tool, but basically it hides your IP address and encrypts your network data so no one can see what you're doing. So no one click and you're protected, right? So that's uh, issue one. Issue two that we see, this isn't for our clients because all of our clients' websites are SSL secure. It shocks me how many CPA firms, enrolled agents, tax pros are still using un insecure, unsecure websites. Um, how would you now, if you're going to a digital workflow, especially if you're a prospect and you visit the site, you would, I mean, right away, this is pretty, all the browsers are going to say, hey, this is not a secure site, go away. Um, it is something you 100% need to do and you need to do it now. So it, uh, and it will make it very hard for someone to do a digital workflow like we talked about before. So make sure that your website is SS, SSL secure. Um, again, we provide that as part of our package. So uh, you know, it, it is what we do, and it's an important item here. The second thing is, and again, I'm not going to get into how you're actually running the tax prep software. Um, everyone has their own IT setup, but there are tools that allow you to do remote uh, access to your HQ and other devices. So you set them up on both ways, but basically you can remotely access, manage, and support your computers, mobile devices, and network machines, uh, and, you know, from anywhere, anytime, right? We recommend teamviewer.com or log me in. Um, both tools make it very, we like TeamViewer just because it's a little bit easier to set up, uh, but both tools have pretty good reviews. They're pretty robust. They're pretty established. Um, so there's good options there for you to set up and uh, get your remote access going. Um, so communication and culture. So once you start working remote, um, you're going to have, and I'm going to back up a little bit. So the idea here is part of the not seeing clients and not having, you know, you continue to go to your office is the last thing you want is a client to bring in uh, the virus into your office. One of your professionals or partners uh, gets sick. They then spread it to other partners. You theoretically could have three or four staff members sick for 14 days or more, right? Um, that is a legitimate uh, risk to your business going forward. You know, how, how would you handle that? So our push here obviously is go remote, don't mingle with each other. But when you do this, you have to trust your partners. You got, you got to make sure you trust everyone, everyone in your staff. There's no simple way around it. So, um, and it also means continuing to the culture you have in your business. So show personality, you know, actively communicate. Um, use tools that show progress and collaboration, and we'll talk about those here in a little bit. But we have a section, we use Slack, um, and we have a kind of a relief or an area that's more casual, you know, to kind of talk smack or whatever you want to call it, but basically uh, kind of dialogue in a more personal nature. And what I'm getting at is you want to bring your culture from your practice to your new workflow. So you still want to be the same company, you still want to be able to communicate and feel like, you know, this is who we are, this is why we do it. And I'm just saying it's important to bring that culture to your remote environment as well. So VoIP technology, I know many of you use it. Some of you still have traditional phones. So you're like, wait a second, how is someone going to call me? You need to set up VoIP. Um, and basically it's, it's web-based phone calls, inbound calls. You can have 800 numbers, you can have extensions. Uh, we've been on VoIP for who knows how long. We were an early adapter. 
Uh, but, uh, and again, we use Ring Central. It's a very solid uh, tool. It's got a lot of capabilities. It has built in, uh, it actually uses Zoom as its meeting. That's what we're recording and using. We, we do uh, publications, we use Zoom as well. Uh, it's the Ring Central kind of private label version of it. But explore the VoIP technology. If you don't have it now, it's going to be a game changer. You can get your phone calls on your mobile devices, at home, on your home computer, on your laptop, wherever you are your business is still rolling, right? So even if you're remote, everyone has their own extensions or direct lines, whatever it is, um, look at VoIP technology if you are not today. Um, the other big one is uh, productivity tools. Um, we use Trello, and Trello is a tool that enables you to uh, do different tasks, due date reminders, and when you're actually working on particular clients, it's a great way to organize and prioritize your projects. Um, we love Trello. We use it uh, uh, quite a bit on different, uh, different types of projects. So I think it's a very good tool to check out if you have not already. Um, and then we use Slack for team communication. Uh, this enables us to, uh, we can create private channels. So you can have discussions. Let's say you're working on this particular client and uh, several of you are working on it. You can use Trello, but you could also use Slack. And Trello and Slack actually will uh, talk to each other. Um, and sync up. So it's uh, just another way to keep the communication going. You can't walk into the other office anymore, but if you have a question and you're using a tool like Slack, things don't get lost like they do in email. Um, again, email is not secure. So now you have a secure way to bring it all together. Um, and uh, remote teams use tools like Slack really to keep that culture going and to be much more productive. So uh, it's a very good tool. Uh, Microsoft Teams is out there. So there's other tools. Again, I'm just throwing out different types of tools, what we like uh, and as, as a recommendation. So a, a big thing here as you turn into being remote and especially with um, schools being closed, daycare closed, travel restrictions, uh, you know, resources feeling scarce, uh, people are worried about if they're going to be fed, right? Uh, emotions are running high. So be flexible with your staff and partners. Um, and with clients. So just kind of think of this through with everybody. Realize that emotions are running high. Be more patient than you normally would be. Um, you, know, be you know, look at everyone's personal situation and try to, you know, you're, you're working for the best outcome here, right? We all know um, that this is a big challenge for the tax and accounting space. Um, your clients are going to be suffering from, you know, financial issues, uh, cash flow issues, the stress level is going to be high. But the good news is for you know, our industry, you are the most trusted advisor for a reason. And a lot of this fiscal policy is going to be directly aimed through the tax code. Um, you know, if it turns into IRS tax problems, there's obviously a lot of ways you can assist clients there. Um, as far as uh, the small business, um, the, the new loan programs that are out, as of this date, there's 10 states with new programs. There's a ton of money. You're going to need to walk your clients through that need uh, some bridge loans or some uh, some funding to make it through. So you are going to be very important, uh, have a very important role here. So again, just be flexible as you go through this process. Um, so this is kind of the last takeaway here, how to help your employees work remotely. So we suggest holding frequent check-ins via video or phone conversations with staff. We do scrums. We call them scrums. They're uh, stand-ups. We try to make them 15 minutes or so. Uh, we work... Um, scrums with different groups. So we have dev scrums, we have customer service scrums, uh, we have full company scrums, but making sure you're using technology that handles that. Skype can do that. Slack can do that. Um, I think is really important. Again, use a secure connection. If you're going to deal with clients, private information, um, make sure that any communication you're doing is secure. Um, so stay in touch with employees who work from home. And again, we said there's the team, Skype, Slack, and other messaging services. Um, set clear expectations in your work from home policy. So make sure that even though you're doing, going remote right now, um, you're setting them up for success. And that starts with trusting your employees, but we get it. You got to make sure, hey, is everyone doing what they're supposed to be doing? And by having tools like we, we've stated here, you have more insight of what they're working on. So in Slack, you can kind of see what they're doing. In Trello, you can see what people are doing. Uh, in the portal, you can see all the different communications. So that helps kind of have that kind of the, another, uh, you know, another viewpoint of, of the work that's being done. So I think that's very important as you, as you kind of roll through this. 
Um, we did open up, uh, this is just one element. Um, we did do a coronavirus outbreak update template, an email template that could be used by, it's obviously built into our platform, but we did open this up to the public. We think it's an important, it's more of a template just to establish policy to get you started. We know every practice is doing their own way, but you can get that at info.countyworkspro.com forward slash coronavirus. Uh, and it just put in your information, click, uh, get the template and we'll download directly for you. So it's a, it's a, a nice tool. We've had, I think a thousand already downloaded. So it's a, it's an important thing to, uh, to look at. 